Now, what is a dwell control on an iPad? Let's explain that. So a lot of people use their iPads when they, uh, you know, want to be productive and everything. And this comes with some kind of accessories which are being commonly used. For example, I like to use the Magic Keyboard, which comes with a trackpad. And it is important because the trackpad brings a pointer or a cursor, which is going on on the screen. You can point in things and click on it. And the dwell control basically means that you can bring the cursor or the pointer over an app or a button or anything clickable. And without you performing a click, it can still do it after a period of time. So I hope that makes sense, right? So the dwell control means that you will simply hover the cursor over an icon. For example, you will wait let's say one second or two seconds, depending on how you have it set up, and then it will be activated without you actually clicking it, right? So this is what it is. And in order to enable it, you have to open up the settings like that, and then click on the accessibility, navigate it to touch, and proceed to assistive touch. Then in here you have the, uh, you have to scroll down a bit, and here we have the dwell control. So naturally you can also just uh, customize the time and everything right here below, as I mentioned, but if you want to enable it, this is it. This is the place where you can find it. And obviously it works and it does the way that I mentioned earlier. So that's basically all that you really need to know about it. I hope that you could, uh, you know, set up the iPad the way that you want it. If you want to see more, videos like this one in the future. Stay tuned. Let me know about what you think about all of this stuff and I'll see you later.